Um, all right, thanks, Adam, for for the introduction. Um, yeah, so um, as John said um, at the beginning of the conference, um, we can do all the amazing stuff with Zio. We have, you know, um, Zio HTTP um, coming along. We have um, SQL libraries, many choices. We have support for the Kafka, Elasticsearch, and so on. So the question is not if we can do this, but the question is how fast we can do this. So um, yeah, uh, let's see um, and and. Uh, uh, let's set um, up our timers and uh, see how it goes. I um, hope you can see my screen. Um, so uh, I have the empty repository. Um, and by the way, it's going to be my first live coding session ever. So uh, uh, please take it easy. Uh, OK, so I have um, empty. Um, can you make your font size larger? Uh, yeah, sure. Thank you. Is it fine now? Uh, one more. Um, All good now? Yeah, I think that's good. Thank you. All right, no worries. Um, yeah, so let's start with the uh, simple domain. Um, so let's create our um, domain package where we will have um, our domain object stored. Um, and we'll be obviously using um, Zio for, uh, for handling all the, case, all the um, effects, Zio HTTP and, and Zio uh, Quill for talking to the um, database. So uh, yeah, just uh, quickly, um, let's do our um, boring stuff. So let's have a uh, book that will have um, ID, uh, that will have uh, some title, uh, and we'll have ISBN number. Uh, let's make it simple uh, integer. And um, now let's make um, this um, companion object having two, uh, two implicit, which will be coming from ZioJSON directly, uh, that we'll be using um, as our um, library for serializing and deserializing um, our, our um, MPV. So let's have a decoder. Uh, that will be a JSON decoder uh, of, uh, of our book. OK, and uh, we'll derive this, uh, derive JSON decoder. From the from JSON um, library. Let's do the same for the um, encoder. Um, encoder. So we'll have um, also the possibility to encode our uh, um, entity. Okay, encoder. Um, sure. So uh, now we would usually want to have some um, some endpoint uh, here and there. So um, let's create the um, the API layer that will be based on the uh, Zio HTTP um, project. Let's call it book routes. So now uh, here we will define uh, basic CRUD operations. So we um, will have our uh, apply, apply function uh, that will return um, um, that will have um, the type of this um, book repository that we'll uh, create um, in a moment. So uh, let's just quickly, okay. I'll... My typing speed could be better, so uh, I'm just I will paste a few things here and there. So we'll create this boot repository in a, in a second. Uh, but we want this um, HTTP to um, uh, collect all the other uh, routes, and we'll use co um, collect Zio for for this purpose because we want to collect this. Um, Request and um, it will be coming to our to our, our server. Okay. Um, once we have this, uh, Zio HTTP provides this great DSL that contains this um, method definition. Let's just like real quick um, and let's dive into the first example and then we can carry on and, and just copy the code. Um, so the first. Um, case, we just want to um, basically uh, define our endpoint. 
or get endpoints to get all the books that we have from the repo. And then, so firstly, maybe let's you know lock something into the um, into the uh, console, so we know that some uh, requests are uh, are here. Okay. Uh, all user. Let's flat, uh, flat map this with the um, book uh, repository that we will create um, in a second. Um, or maybe uh, let's let's do this now. So we have this um, um, interface that we can uh, that we can work on. Okay. Um, so um, in the book repository, we want to usually provide um, access of operations um, that will that should look um, like this. Uh, so all we want to do is to, we want to have save find all and find by ID and delete. So we want to also work with this with design task that will uh, wrap everything for us. Um, and we also want to have uh, to create, we also want to create this um, accessor uh, methods uh, that will um, save us time, some time and will be responsible for um, dependency um, management. Okay, so here I just created the, um, Accessor uh, methods that are um, wrapping everything into um, Zio service um, with Zio, so it will be easier to uh, to inject them, and it will be a little bit more elegant solution. Okay, uh, let's get back to our routes. So we have our and we get um, okay. so we have the first we have the first um uh we have the first um endpoint of the uh, of the um uh, our of our of our application let me just add uh one thing uh, really quickly um so now let's uh add a few few more for having this um um, uh, for having this, um, for getting one book, for also um, posting a book, for deleting a book, for other things that we that we want to uh, do. So uh, let's just quickly uh, copy some uh, um, methods. Okay, so let's assume we want to have. Post. Uh, we want to uh, again create some books. Get some. So uh, let me really quickly okay get this. Um, yeah, let's add a few, few imports and also status. All the users, uh, we want to get all the books. Uh, okay. Mm, let me see what it says. Request. I suppose I'm missing something. Uh, but yeah, let's. Let's copy this from. Okay. Okay. So um, let's add other other uh, CRUD operations, um, like um, deleting um, a single book, and also okay. Okay. This one okay. I copied too much. Did I? Okay. Okay. Let's shoot. 
Should be fine now. Okay. Yeah. Um, so what we should have, this should work. Okay, so we defined our our operations over um, over here. Uh, now let's just quickly have this um, in memory implementation of the uh, of the uh, book repository, just to make this uh, a little bit quicker because I'm running out of the time. Um, okay, well, let's create this uh, repo where we will um, basically. Create new um, in mem memory uh, book repository. And now let's do a simple trick. Okay, this is from the other place. Let's add all the imports that we need. And also here. Uh, okay, so this is obviously uh, based on the uh, in memory implementation. Unless you want to copy uh, code from the other places, okay. Um, yeah, so we have this in-memory implementation uh, that is based on the uh, on the um, map, um, and uh, yeah, let's see if we can have anything working in this uh, example. So now uh, we have to uh, use this um, Dio um, HTTP server where we will um, serve our uh, book routes. Um, and we will um, we will also do uh, no. oh, uh, this is an object. Uh, okay, so um, let's me get back to this. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to um, add this user route, uh, sorry, book routes, and also provide uh, provide this um, default um, for the uh, for the server, and also we want to provide this um, in memory uh, book repository layer uh, that we um, have that we have in the uh, in the accessory uh, met um, accessory method okay um, and if I'm correct well, this should uh, work just correct all the typos. And let me add all the imports. Okay, it's the server is not from the yeah. Okay, book routes should be also here. Uh, why it's not here? Okay. Uh, oh. Okay, oh, let me choose compiles. Okay, so that should, um, in theory, expose the, the endpoint that we have. Um, the value is being found, okay. So maybe the answer for the question is if we can do this is, is no, but should be, should be yes in general. Uh, I, 
might be missing something. Uh, okay. Crowds. Oh, it's called user routes because I copied this from another place. Sorry. Um, yeah, it should work. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, we have success with little with slight delay. Uh, let's see if, if it actually uh, works. So I will I will quickly create this um, request. Um, to 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 that endpoint. Uh, okay. You should be able to my screen. Okay. Um, okay. So we have the um, the empty array of of users now. Let's uh, sorry of books. I keep saying users. Um, now let's try to. Okay, so we have we have this message. We have this mes message. Sorry, we have this message. Um, so um, yeah, at least we have some heat to the endpoint. Um, if you want to see more, uh, all the code is the available on the on the GitHub. Uh, I won't be taking much more of your um, time. So um, yeah, uh, thanks for this. And uh, if you want to see the code, it's on the GitHub again. <laughs> 